It is no secret empaths are often favored by narcissists for their immensely kind and forgiving natures. After all, an empath's innate nature to care and compromise usually leaves them vulnerable to narcissistic manipulation. But what happens when a narcissist encounters the equally despicable force of nature, the dark empath? In one of our previous videos, What Happens When a Narcissist Meets a Dark Empath, we delved into what could happen if a dark empath and narcissist crossed paths. In this video, we will propose what could happen if the two did more than join forces and started the potentially deadly game of dating. Will love conquer all? Or was this wayward romance doomed from the start? The Honeymoon Phase Love comes in many shapes and forms. Unfortunately, love can get twisted into something ugly and unsafe when it takes a dark turn. In the ways of love, the self-absorbed narcissist often fails to empathize with their partners. Unlike the narcissist, the dark empath will often empathize with your feelings entirely but use this level of understanding to manipulate their partners consciously. Narcissists and dark empaths coming together as a couple could spell disaster, but not initially. Like any whirlwind romance, a narcissist and dark empath may fall for each other's surface charms. The dark empath may be charmed by the narcissist's charisma, status, and feigned affection. Meanwhile, the narcissist may be loving all the attention and validation from the dark empath. Both may resort to love bombing and smother each other with their intense form of love. If you are unfamiliar with love bombing and want to learn more, check out our video, Six Signs of Love Bombing, Not True Love, next. Theoretically, it's possible for an empath and narcissist to make it work, but as the honeymoon phase of the relationship begins to fade, the relationship between an empath and narcissist may become more toxic, leading to serious trouble down the road of romance. Clash of the Titans So the song says, Love is a battlefield, and this battle is a long time coming in this case of the narcissist and the dark empath. Once love has cleared the air, a narcissist and dark empath clash to take command of the relationship. Likewise, with initial love bombing, the narcissist and dark empath may resort to gaslighting, lying, and other forms of emotional manipulation consistent with their personalities. For example, dark empaths can use their empathy to read other people and use that knowledge to manipulate others to get what they want, explains licensed counselor Dr. Suzanne Deggs White. The dark empath may manipulate the narcissist's need for validation. While the narcissist may accuse the dark empath of infidelity or redirect negative attention back to the dark empath, there are many ways an argument between these two personalities can play out, but overall, it can be argued their shared need for control can lead to an inevitable power struggle. The Shame Game Pasta or Sushi? Movie Night or Picnic? No matter your choices, it is essential to compromise within any relationship and find common ground. When a couple chooses to compromise, it is often a result of their empathy toward each other. Since compassion, vulnerability, and shame often go hand in hand, a narcissist may severely struggle in this aspect of relationships. It is often believed that narcissists lack empathy. Still, clinical psychologist and psychoanalyst Mary C. Lamia argues that consciously or unconsciously, narcissists are unwilling to empathize rather than lacking the capacity to do so. This nonchalance can reflect their strong desire to avoid self-reflection and remorse. Their sense of superiority forbids them from feeling shame, and the confidence that once attracted the dark empath will quickly turn into arrogance. Rather than recognize their failings, a narcissist often diverts negative attention to the dark empath and commences the shame game. Dex White concurs that narcissists are often unable to see their shortcomings clearly due to their feelings of superiority. Whereas, dark empaths are more likely to be self-critical and recognize their failings. On the constant receiving end of the narcissist's ridicule, the dark empath may spiral and see themselves as the problem in their relationship. An unstable union between master manipulators. Danger, danger, danger. As time passes, the relationship between the narcissist and dark empath may be hitting critical toxicity levels. They may have started fighting and arguing over little things, The narcissist may have wanted to go to a fancy restaurant, while the dark empath wanted a movie night at home. Little by little, this stubborn practice can wear the ties thin and lead to more steamy arguments. After their inevitable clash where power ensues, who will come up on top? The narcissist or the dark empath? Tell us what you think in the comments below and why. If, for instance, the narcissist won and took complete control of the relationship, what would become of the dark empath? Since narcissists have the terrible habit of belittling their partners and dark empaths have the habit of internalizing feedback, the ensuing results may be catastrophic for both parties. The dark empath may self-isolate and continue to feed into the narcissist's need for validation, 
while the narcissist's ego seemingly has no bounds. Licensed social worker Silly Saxeno argues this is typically when a trauma bond forms due to recurring psychological and emotional abuse committed by said narcissist. As the cement of abuse solidifies, it can be more challenging for the partner to escape unscathed. The make or break. Will they or won't they? All couples face this phase of the relationship at one point or another. However, the narcissist and dark empath may face this phase faster than others due to their opposing natures. Both are arguably equal masters of manipulation. Both possesses unique skills to entice and manipulate their partners. They know how to make someone feel special and trashy from one second to the next. From a hot romance to non-stop arguing and attempts to manipulate the other party, the narcissist and dark empath may finally be at their breaking point. But is this such a tragedy? Deggs White argues that dark empaths can be, equally, dangerous companions due to their willingness to use deceit and lies to play on their partner's sympathy and good nature. However, when paired with a narcissist, a dark empath may be constantly frustrated by their partner's apathy and arrogance. Likewise, narcissists may become frustrated when their partner refuses to lavish them with the love and validation they've become accustomed to. Narcissists love being on the receiving end of Cupid's arrow, but can they truly love in return? Although it is theoretically possible for a narcissist to develop feelings of love, they genuinely struggle to maintain long-lasting relationships due to their lack of empathy and tendency towards selfishness, yet they still get into relationships. You can probably find a fair share of narcissists on dating apps, and this raises the age-old question. Can narcissists love someone other than themselves and maintain that love? Psychiatrist and sexologist Keaton Parmore, MD, insists, to a narcissist, love is an external source of validation used to boost their self-esteem. They do not understand that real love involves reciprocity. Ultimately, if the narcissist and dark empath see love as transactional, love will maintain its luster. Naturally, everyone craves love, but ultimately, a narcissist and a dark empath may not suit each other in the long run. However, if they genuinely want to make things work, they need outside help. If you recognize this coupling or find yourself in a similar boat, it may be time to contact a friend, therapist, or relationship counselor. An outside source will help you better reflect on your actions within any relationship. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to keep updated on our latest video. Take care, and remember that you matter.